Hi, it's Cheryl back with you from Farmhouse Frugally. Today we're talking about candles and candle holders. I am going to jump right into project number one. So some weeks back, my husband had found this at the dump at the good table, and I have cleaned it a number of times. It was really bad. I had to use quite a bit of elbow grease and get it clean. But finally, once I got it clean, I mixed up a beautiful color blue and I had him remove the little pointed part on the top because I didn't want it there. And then I used my trusty new little turntable and painted the whole thing and waited for that to get good and dry overnight. Then I took a very stiff brush and the white decorative wax by Bear and I went ahead and I added that onto the piece, just twirling it around and getting it specially into the crevices. And then you take a rag or a paper towel with the wax and you just begin to wipe it away so that it comes off the high points and stays in the low points. And then you just let that dry. You can buff it again if you wanna take a little more off or you can leave it as is. And this is one way I decorated it a number of different ways because I think sometimes people get stuck. Yes, you can put a little bird on top or in this case, I put a little apple. Of course, you can put a candle on top, which is what most people get stuck there. But there's so many other options. Here's a cute little bird's nest with a little fake bird. And um, then I just threw some other items I had hanging around on my little three-tiered tray just to give you some ideas. Um, I went out of the box here and did a little sugar bowl or a creamer on top, something unusual. Anything you elevate looks more important, <laughs> even a pine cone. So here's some ideas for you on a simple candle holder. Project number two I saw on Sammy's page from Unicorn Dust Designs, and she had some um, tapered candles and I thought oh I have plenty so she found some fabric or some laces and some twines whatever you have hanging around the house that goes this little Cheryl's cookie box someone gave me and I fill it with all kinds of different shaped twine and I also have this lovely twine holder that I just love 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 so I just went through my craft room looking for bits and pieces to add just as a little decorative item here. So I just layered those on and then stacked the three candles on top, tied a couple of knots, trimmed the ends, and that was that. This one, so simple, so easy to do, so adorable. I love it with that Hobby Lobby garland. Um, and then I put it on a table with a few other items that are very similar in design. The next few projects are similar. Project number three, these are very similar, but instead of tapered, they were kind of chunky candles. Um, so I went ahead and did a similar thing. I went through in the green fabrics and I found something just a little bit different um, so that it wouldn't look the same as the first. And I went into my stash of different laces and again, just layered this one a little bit different. This time I wanted to add a little sprig of greenery just to make that really pop. It's very spring, very summery, very pretty. And here it is in a bowl full of greenery, just another way to design it. And then here is a metal bowl I had painted some time back with a little bird on um, the bowl with it that I think looks adorable. So project four and five are very similar to one another. In my stash, I had some reddish burgundy colored candles and I did a very similar thing with a really beautiful strip of antique lace. You know, sometimes you just have a small amount of something left. Don't throw it out. This looked really cute, almost Christmassy, I think, in these color tones. Just really adorable. And then check out this picture of my kids when they were little, that little silhouette. I love that. <laughs> And then in my spice box, I just tossed it in there just to see what it would look like. And then project five is also very similar. I did the same thing as the last couple, but I just switched it out for something um, red and white. And there it is. 
So I hope you like these different accents, different ways to take some stuff you have hanging around the house and just make something really sweet out of it. it just fills a bowl or put it on your mantle or beside a, a picture frame. Okay, okay, maybe I do need Candles Anonymous. I did find some more, so I had to do a bonus. <laughs> Here's some fall-colored ones. So I went ahead and just grabbed some fall-colored fabric, a little bit of the cream and put that together with my beautiful um, yellow wear that I love to collect. I like that fall touch. And here it is just stuck in a little pitcher. What a cute idea against a lot of creams. Here it is on a table with some other fall items for sale. And then here is a bowl with all five of them together. I hope you like this video. If you do, would you please give me a thumbs up? And please share because as soon as I hit 100, I'm going to do an awesome giveaway. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.